Either way, it is planned. Good evening. Hello, everybody. Both at home in front of your freaking computer on a Wednesday, 27th. This is the last chance, people. This is all you're gonna get. And it's not gonna be a manifesto. I'm gonna jump right on top of things. And as always, I will not explain myself because I'm the boss of this stage for the next 33 minutes um, with my humble self. And uh, brought to you, powered by, sponsored by both Pieśniarza and Rock Dance Theater. Bang, so there you go, yeah. Let's do this. You can fake it if you try. Holidays. I'm going 
gonna explain in a minute. Let me just turn this down so that it doesn't do any static. Thank you, that's what we want. Um, basically, yeah, uh, good evening. <laughs> if you have your wine, take your wine because you will need it tonight. Um, we have a special kind of evening. Why? We kind of started off on a humorous side, but um, unfortunately, tonight is dedicated to a black kind of mass situation. Um, unfortunately, however, hooligan holiday-ish and fun, um, all of these stage talks have been so far. Um, it's been pure entertainment, right? People hanging out, me hanging out, doing all kinds of stuff on stage, doing all kinds of shit that I like pretty much because the owner allows me. <laughs> which is already cool. But yeah, tonight uh, I wanted to mention a special kind of thing because uh, we did lose a friend, a guitarist friend over in Sweden, um, Andreas Peel. So it's one of these moments where, you know, you know the guy, you say see you later in a couple of like days, hours, weeks to kind of jam and see you on stage. And all of a sudden, you know, the guy is gone. Shit happens, but my only comment is fuck cancer. We will party until we die too, yeah? So that's kind of the whole message here. And not to have it on a sad kind of vibe, I would have tried and play something a little bit higher, like up tempo, and it's fun, it's loud, and you know it because I've been playing that, trying to play at least last week as well. So yeah, one moment, because I gotta get over to like my guitar stand, whatever thing, yeah? I don't have my guitar tech, I am my freaking guitar tech tonight. Wait a minute. <laughs> it's all right. It's rock and roll, right? So let me check uh, the backing track. On the technical side, it's always one of these things that is almost I lab that it's like a guitar clinic gone wrong, right? But um, either way, the tune you know because the shit that is talking about him is also here. So let's go with it. Enjoy. I will not talk nor sing, no worries. I just look at the song.
you are too kind, right? <laughs> you know what I say each time, like, fuck this shit because I'm not a guitar player. And that's the coolest thing about it. You are seeing a choreographer playing with a guitar. More practice for me, less torture for you. I so don't care. So, um, <laughs> Roberto is not used to this thing. Uh, we have a cool friend tonight. Um, Roberto has been, well, working with me a little bit. We actually met in this city, funny enough. And um, long story short is that the guy has photographed a decent bit of my stage work. So pretty much he is used to, you know, <laughs> all kinds of weird shit. <laughs> <laughs> not really what's up? <laughs> Guys, I know that you're enjoying yourselves, but like, shut the fuck up and let me talk. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> you know, with all due respect. We will do that part in a minute, my friend. We won't get drunk tonight because, as I said, it's a little bit bittersweet of an evening. And, um, you know, this goes public either way, so if, at least we're half official and half not. So it's okay, we can do whatever. Um, so yeah, Roberto has been uh, around in the business <laughs> and pretty much Rockdance Theater, the part that I wanted to talk to you about um, practically here is a fusion and a combo where I do connect guitar music, I produce sound on it, but I definitely interact with it way more as such. What's up, guys? Yes. You know, doing all kinds of stuff like that, um, which requires more of a guitar interaction than actually producing sound. Some people know kind of what the deal is already, but um, if you enjoyed this, <laughs> just me bending backwards, <laughs> just wait until you see my main show. If you wow. get, ever get a chance for seeing Rock Dance Theater um, live, meaning with a full band lineup, with myself, also with guitars, and a little bit more space on the stage, as I would wish, you know, that's the real deal. So, how to do it? Google it, go on Rock Band Theater Official, you know you have it. Click to subscribe, and we will be so grateful for you to do that. And now, in the other messages, I'm gonna do a small technical break just to put the guitar down, because again, I am my freaking tech tonight. We have light, we have paparazzi photographers, and we have the live streams. So it's like, yay, we're all kind of set. <sighs> A part of the freaking guitar tech, which I am to myself yet again. But it's okay, I'm kind of used to this whole um, do-it-yourself establishment. So there you go, that was the technical moment. See how good I am as a tech for my own theater. Either way, um, one topic that I did want to, uh, to talk to you about is um, pretty much this balance between um, the good and the bad in the stage business. Um, I've recently talked to a friend of mine uh, from UK, Rick, and Rick pretty much observed an interesting thing. If you guys are used to the notion of young people trying to pretend to be professional, Let's give an example, a young girl wants to be a promoter for a show, wants to be a booker for a show. So she kind of does the research, you know, she goes online and stuff, she contacts the venue, she contacts the spot, and then she actually does book the gig behind the back of the artist. And then you kind of think to yourself for a very quick moment, who the fuck is Hellstone and who the fuck does she think she is, right? I think I'm gonna put on this t-shirt, I'd like it. It was a gift, I'm gonna tell you from whom in a minute. But um, I said put on, not put off. <laughs> this is not a striptease, this is a striptease in reverse, if you will. Either way, it goes like this. I'm gonna locate the product just because it's cool, you know, like that, so that you see the name. And you still enjoy it. You you are really enjoying it, my friend. You're the best audience ever. Like, you know, there's always one. There's one that is a freak, and it happens to be you tonight. You will pay double for this. You know that. <laughs> Either way, 
everyone else, everyone else is going to pay the regular route. But either way, um, as I mentioned, Hellstone is uh, as well my personal friend. And why I want to mention the guy, because he's been in the music business for a really long time. He's the owner of one of the most popular stores in Scandinavia. And we happen to kind of bump into each other every now and then. I go over to the store, I check out the gear, and funny enough, all right, I, sorry, I had to do this moment. If I see a camera, I just look at it, you know. And uh, either way, I will have to do something interactive a little bit more over here, just to, you know, yeah. pretend that I'm performing. <laughs> Is the Hellstone visible? Because this goes directly on the website. Kidding, of course it doesn't. But, um, you know, I wanted to do this interactive thing for you guys so that you get a very small package during the stage talk of me kind of showing and showcasing off the very small bits and pieces how it all goes down. So how it does go down. Um, fashion. Number one. Take the music aside, take the history aside, take the whole uh, background that Rock Dance Theater has kind of went through, if you will. Fashion is a huge factor in what we do. Me personally, I'm a fashion freak, I say. So design on any level is, is there. And it is there for a reason. It's there to appreciate or hate either way. But um, you know, you be the judge because kind of the aesthetic is all connected together. Now I'm gonna switch to my other thigh so that I don't get a muscle cramp, thank you. You know, being 30 years in the business almost and doing it from a very small age when you kind of have to do all of these weird robotic moves just to get professional now and you know up i say that i've been i've done a fair share of my thing so i gotta pay attention to my body and take care of my instrument because as i said i'm a choreographer i'm a professional dancer and at the same time uh for everyone that doesn't know me i'm a guitar freak at this point it's like three years ago if you go to any one of your um restream broadcasts here from the club or from rock dance theater myself um, you will hear the story, and I say that over and over, um, that the influence has happened literally overnight. Choreographer grabbing at the guitar, hey, this is fun, let's do it on stage, you know? So that's kind of what happened. Um, I've done pretty much everything in dance up until this point, you know? And also, in terms of stage work, I feel that this is way more interesting, and you can really have all kinds of new vocabularies when it goes down to that. So, you know, this is just a small token of appreciation because I just got this t-shirt of Sven. I was helping him out with the like smallest thing and he went, you know, we have a merch tray with Motorhead, with Lemmy, you know, showing the finger, the peace, the sign of peace, right? And peace and love. Sorry, if kids are watching, I didn't do that. Um, so, you know, he grabbed this t-shirt and he figured, yeah, this is totally in your style. So, you know, from then on, I kind of walk around and ask, who the fuck is Hellstone, right? You can ask the, your, yourself the same question. Who the fuck is Anna, right? Red-headed chick, you might just remember that from today's broadcast. Or, you know, check, chick with cool shit in black color today. So this is how I look from the front. Thank you for that shot, Roberto. <laughs> Ay, Roberto. And this is how I look from behind if you want to follow me on Facebook. Not bad, right? Yes. Choose whichever side you like and then follow either full frontal, as we say. Don't be a bitch about it. Just say hello. Say that you've been to the evening, that you've seen the live broadcast. You heard me talk or you heard me perform. Heard, saw, either way, both. So yeah, um, that would be kind of lovely to be friends at the end of the evening. But uh, I do have another kind of thing behind me. I think I'm actually covering it pretty well, yes because it's a surprise. It's one of these um, music things that I like to talk about my, um, in my inspiration kind of motif, if you will. And uh, the tune I just tried to play for you guys is called Me Generation. It's super about today's time, which is exactly what you're doing. This guy went on the phone. He couldn't care less about what I'm doing over here. Number one, we have three live streams. <laughs> Don't worry, <laughs> let him be, let him be, you know, the song of the Beatles, like, just peace out. <laughs> just let him be, right? We have three live streams, that already speaks a lot, so in a way, we cannot go more high-tech and professional than this. 
And also, um, since we have the camera, I might as well do this as well. Woo! So that, wait a minute. Oh. The stage is not flat. So that Roberto gets this like fantastic shot. Yeah. Are we good? Yes. He did not get it. Fuck this. I'm not gonna do it again because I'm old. <laughs> No, none of this is gonna happen. We don't promote violence, we promote love, peace, and rock and roll. At least that's, you know, whoever knows me, I'm a freak in a very positive sense. And um, I do not discriminate. And even if someone is not interested in any kind of content, it's okay. That's the perfect thing about an audience, that you might love it or you might fucking hate it. Who is that bitch I wanna leave? <laughs> yeah. But uh, coming back to new generation, uh, the tune I just tried to play for you guys, like, a little bit on that guitar, <laughs> is coming from a dude from rock and roll that I really consider someone very cool, very talented, and very hugely endowed in terms of, well, guitar potential. So with, uh, hmm, with a co small costume change yet again, this is the dude we're talking about. Ta-da! <laughs> Ryan Rocks! <laughs> this off again right for your entertainment <laughs> and I think wait let me do something different like that I know it was more attractive before right because my back was showing you freaking freak really go get a life <laughs> Either way, Ryan Roxy is the dude that you want to check out. I think my mic is freaking too low, right? Like, am I crunching like this? I am. So let me adjust this. Can, could I get a good attack for a second? Thank you so much. Will I distribute this? <laughs> Elsewhere. <laughs> I like you. Thank you so much. See, this is how a tech works. The artist arrives and everything is here, like, freaking finally, right? So either way, um, depending from which club you are, you guys are really a lot of fun today. I thought it's really gonna be a sad episode of the stage talk. And we're gonna talk shit like, you know, death and sadness and the fact that I'm wearing black, you know? All of these motives comes to my mind all of, all of a sudden. You have like, back to black from ACDC, right? You have the black party celebration from Depeche Mode. Speaking about that, I've just came from Warsaw the other week and uh, we were having our music video screening. So it was like big, a motorbike in front, you know, you cannot get more rock and roll than that. And pretty much um, we had a premiere of the live screening because the music video just like dropped online on YouTube. If you're on your phone, you can just 